So the first thing, um, I should mention the light. I have two lights behind him in the tunnel all the way out, full power with half CTO gels um, and triggered by radio. There's also two lights um, to his left and to his right pointed directly at him, slightly in front of him, but not much. And then there's a ring flash on the camera pointed directly at him. That's mostly just used as, as a fill. Now in this case, uh, to me, this, this photo is a little washed out, a little flat. So the first thing I, I want to do is I'm just going to play around with the exposure a little bit. Um, I think I need to get that right first. Because I know I'm going to make a fairly extreme curves adjustment on this image. So we'll go there first. Let's just bring it down about right there. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is add a fairly powerful, or not powerful, but it, let's say extreme um, curves. And right now you can see my curves is on the extended mode. I want to put it on normal mode. So I'm going to take this down. And we're going to put a pretty radical curve on it right away. Now, it's what this does. This is, I mean, right off the bat, I mean, here's the difference. Just between those two adjustments, it's a dramatic improvement, in my opinion. Now, one thing that's already bugging me before I continue, I, I normally always adjust my, uh, my lines, straighten my lines and make a crop. Now... I'm not going to crop this yet, but I do want my line straight. So we'll just leave it there. Now, looking ahead, I want to build a preset. And I'll show you how to delete that straighten adjustment in a preset because you don't want your presets to have those in there. You don't want it turning your picture that doesn't need it later in the preset, if that makes sense. So with 